War. War never changes. The Principality of Equestria came into being as a great, prosperous nation under the guidance of Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. The ponies of this nation vowed to build the country together in the spirit of friendship and camaraderie. Peace pervaded Equestria for millennia under the Princess's reign. But war never changes. There came an era when the ideals of friendship gave way to greed, selfishness, paranoia, and a jealous reaping of dwindling space and natural resources. Misunderstandings rose, tensions mounted, lands took up arms against their neighbors, and so the wars began, the land saturated with death and destruction, and all sides cried out for an end to the bloodbath. And end the wars did, in an abyss of balefire and dark magic. Mega spells rained from the skies. Entire lands were swallowed in flames and fell beneath the boiling oceans. Pony kind was almost extinguished, their spirits becoming part of the ambient radiation that blanketed the lands. A quiet darkness fell across the world. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue for another bloody chapter in pony history. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as stables. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Stable 2. For on that fateful day when Spellfire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Stable 2 swung closed and never reopened. Until the arrival of Little Pip. Little Pip, who breaks free of Stable 2's confines and finds her way out into the poisoned land of Equestria. For better or for worse, the wastes are now her abode. This is her story. Life in the equestrian wasteland is about to change. Now the story shifts to the bowels of Stable 2 in the maintenance halls, where our own little Pip resides. Gray. So much gray. Gray here, gray there. 
Oh, and did I mention the gray? This wall needs a mural. Hmm. As she slams her head on the workbench in her frustration, another pony steps in, unbeknownst to Little Pip. Oh dear, is it really that bad? W what? Velvet! Velvet Remedy, Stable 2's favorite music pony. Her melodious singing has gained her adoration from many of the stable residents, not the least of them Little Pip. And, in truth, Little Pip has been quite smitten with Velvet for a while now. No, no, but pull yourself together. Uh, what was it that Mom would always say? Little Pip, Velvet's barn door doesn't swing that way. <sighs> it took me a few years to figure that one out. But, oh, goddesses, Velvet standing right here. All of her songs right here on my Pip book, but, but, but the real deal is standing right in this room and... Um, Little Pip? Uh, uh, with you, what? A oh, wonderful response, Pip. So elegant. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I was a little out of it. Uh, could you repeat that? <laughs> oh, little Pip. She's smiling. Oh, this has got to be good. You looked so heartbroken when I came in. Is there anything I can do to help? H help? Velvet Remedy offered to help me. Yes! Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Velvet Remedy must have some reason to be down here. Some pip buck reason. It's not like she'd go wandering around maintenance after all. Not to mention my boss is asleep on the job. Again. Oh, uh, no, 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 it, it, it was nothing. Are you certain? I do hate to see you unhappy. Oh, no, really, really, it was nothing. <clears throat> uh, so, how, how may I, I be of assistance? Well, there is one thing. And what's that? My Pip-Buck. Before this story progresses, you should know more about these Pip-Bucks. What is a Pip-Buck? A Pip-Buck is a device, worn on a foreleg just above the hoof, issued to every pony in the stable when they become old enough to start work. A blending of unicorn pony magic and science, a Pip-Buck will keep a constant measure of your health, and even help administer healing poultices and other medicine, track and organize everything in your saddle packs, assist in repairs, and keep all manner of notes and maps available at a hoof tap. In short, yet another manifestation of technology at its finest. I do hate to be a bother, but my pit buck has begun to shave a bit. Could you replace the padding? Oh, absolutely! I I'll have it done quick! Oh, no, that's all right. Take your time. I'm going to put some salve on this leg back in my room and rest up for the afternoon. Oh, that's right. Uh, your performance tomorrow, right? That's right. You sound so wonderful on stage. I, I, I heard you on the radio just now. Oh, so you heard already one year. I do love that song. I really like it too. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> anyway, I'll have this back to you by this time tomorrow. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Thank you. This means more to me than you can imagine. Oh, and little Pip? Y yes You have quite the cute blush. Has anyone told you that? Um, I... <laughs> barn door, Pip, barn door! <laughs> and with that, little Pip turned back to her workbench, a good deal happier than she had been before speaking to Velvet. Cue the morning. Little Pip trots through the stable hallways, Velvet's pip buck telekinetically floating beside her. But she finds in the hallway is chaos. Luna damn paparazzi! How am I ever gonna push my way through this? Every pony move! Oh, what's going on? She's gone. Gone? Who's gone? Velvet Remedy. She's left the stable. Velvet? Gone? Oh, goddesses, no. I didn't even know the stable door could open. The stable door? Open? She's gone outside? Every pony, please, calm down. The Overmare, the head pony of Stable 2. She oversees all that happens in the stable and keeps all in order. Don't worry, every pony. 
I have the pit buck tag of each and every pony in the stable. I will personally send out a rescue party. We'll have our velvet back by the end of the day, worry not. Pit buck tag? Oh, fuck me with Celestia's front hooves. Hold it! Isn't that velvet's pit buck in the maintenance pony's hooves right there? Little pit. <laughs> Yes, Overmare. What is this? The Pipsqueak let our velvet get away. How could you? You monster! Silence! Little Pip, take it and head to your room, swiftly. Little Pip obeys, rushing back to her room, Velvet's Pipbuck still in tow. to hate me. I'm the one who let Velvet get away. Velvet, why? Why did you go? On the Pipbuck radio, the Overmare's reassuring voice is heard. We are all feeling this loss. But I want to remind every pony that Velvet Remedy chose to do this. She chose to leave her home. To abandon us, her family. She betrayed my trust and she betrayed yours. Just as she betrayed the trust of the pony who she tricked into removing her pit buck. Ensuring we could not find her. I know many of you are angry or hurt. I urge you to direct that anger where it truly belongs. It is then that an encrypted file in Velvet's pit buck catches Little Pip's eye. It's an audio recording. Maybe it's one of Velvet's new songs? The override code for opening the door to Stable 2 is... CMC3BFF. The Stable Door Override Code? Where did Velvet get this? And why? I'm not sure what's going on or why, Velvet. But I'm sure of what I'm going to do. The decision was made, there and then. To leave the stable and find Velvet. To leave the stable that no pony had ever left before. Final check. Apples, water, extra stable barding, book of arcane sciences. All set and ready to go. The time arrives. Little Pip, with supplies on hoof and of set mind, faces the massive door that separates Stable 2 from the outside. What stands between Little Pip and the door's control panels are two Earth Pony guards. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, if, if you would let me by. This point is off limits. No exceptions. Here's hoping my little speech is good enough to get me through. I'm a certified stable tech technician. The Overmare has specifically requested that I check that the stable door panel is working correctly. Prove it. Um, uh... Didn't think so. Now beat it this week. Apparently not. Time for plan B. Hey, aren't you the filly who let our velvet get lost outside anyway? Why, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I'm also the one who's gonna bring her back. Oh, Earth Ponies. They never see that levitating something up behind you trick coming. All right. Now to business. CMC3BFF. Please work, please work, please work! Stop! I order you to stop this instant! Guards! I want every guard on the at stable to door! Stop that filly! Oh, crap! Here goes! It's time. You don't have to do this, little pimp, isn't it? Overmare, I'll bring her back, I promise. No, you won't. If you leave here, you'll never be let back in. There she is. Now 
or never. I'm not stepping up there. Quick, seal the door. With a hiss and a bang, Stable 2's door closes irrevocably behind Little Pip. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> The hallway is filled with the skeletons of ponies that had died desperately trying to get into the stable, as the land of Equestria was burned alive. Celestia's mercy. The light of the Pipbuck lamp reveals a cellar door that leads to the outside world. So the entrance to the outside is cleverly disguised as the door to a humble apple cellar, because the pony who had built it had been building an apple cellar. Sounds legit. And with that, Little Pip threw open the cellar door and took her first steps into the outside world. Dark! Dark! Oh, it's so dark! I should have thought this through better! Somebody save me! Oh, okay. Okay, okay. G get a hold of yourself, Pip. You can do this. But... Why do I have to be alone? I hate being all alone. It's me from here on out. A saddlebag full of provisions and her heart full of hope, our young heroine makes her way into the desolate wasteland. Though she may see this as the end of her life in the stable, she has just embarked on the greatest journey she will ever embark on. Her tale is only just beginning. So, this is outside. It's so empty and quiet and lonely. It's nothing like the stables at all. What the hell happened here? Velvet? It's Little Pip! If you're out there, say something! Okay, if you're out there, don't say anything! <sighs> yeah, that's that's not gonna work. The Gydra counter's going crazy. I suppose radiation isn't the best sign that I should stick around. Aha! The Pip Bucks map function works every time! Yes, I should take a look around this sweet apple acres my Pipbuck is telling me I'm at. Velvet could be anywhere by now. Amidst the dead trees and wreckage of what was once sweet apple acres, Little Pip comes across the wreckage of a building. Rusted shoes, soap boxes, old pitchforks, and other crap left over from better times. Oh, this'll definitely help me find Velvet. I'm so grateful. No sign of Velvet here. Hold on, it, is that a stable tech terminal? There's an audio recording on it. To any pony who has left Stable 2 in search of me, please, go home. I am doing what I have to do. The Overmare understands, even if she can never agree. And I hope one day you will, too. I will not come back. Do not look for me. Do not endanger yourself any further for my sake. Please, forgive me. Velvet Remedy. Velvet? Oh, Celestia, damn it, Velvet! It didn't have to turn out this way! How am I going to face the Overmare now? Oh, right. I forgot. I won't be facing the Overmare. Ever again. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? There's only one other audio file in here. And that one has a binary encryption. To decrypt it, I'll have to download the message from both terminals that used and received the message. Eh, why the hell not? So, what happens now? Hey, is that a campfire in the distance? I guess I should head over there and see what's there, seeing as there's really nothing better to do. <sighs> and for that matter, I've really got to stop talking to myself. This is weird. True to her word, Little Pip ceased all self-conversation and moved towards the campfire. Approaching the fire, it becomes apparent to Little Pip that something is amiss. There! Lying on that straw mat! Another unicorn! Oh, finally, somebody else! But... Why does he look so miserable? Um, hello? Well, if you're gonna tell me to leave, you really ought to speak properly. Oh, no, 
Wait, are, are those chains? Luna's moonquakes. No, uh, first things first. Let's get that gag off his mouth. Yep. And now tell me, what's going on? Why didn't you just leave? L leave? Why? No time to explain. There. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, looky here. Walked up all nice and pleasant, didn't she? <laughs> Out of the shadows steps a gang of three ponies. They are clearly not willing to be friendly. Might as well trust herself up for us. You wouldn't mind, would ya? <laughs> <laughs> and another unicorn, too. She'll fetch a pretty price, this one. Get that shovel out of your mouth, Cagey. I can't hear a damn word you say. I was just saying, I mean, by the goddesses, look at her. I think she's taking a bath. Enough talk. Chain the bitch up. We got work to do. What's going on? Oh, for they're slavers, you idiot. Oh. Well. Who are you, anyway? I'm Monterey Jack. Now shut up. If you don't stop talking, you're liable to get your tongue cut out. I don't expect they'd answer my questions, even if my tongue survived asking them. Not to mention they're sure being chatty enough with each other to suffice. I hate this part. Well then, if you would just learn to swim, we could take the long way, couldn't we? Uh, I hate fucking swimming. Ugh, judging by your stench, I'd say you just hate water in general, buddy. Sawed off, Keiji. How about you stop complaining and I'll let you sample one of the slaves before we get to the forest. <laughs> if KG here weren't pointing that shovel at my throat, all of you would have a couple hooves in certain tender places for your efforts. Courtesy of me, bastards. Time to start forming some kind of escape plan. Excuse me? I ask you, what kind of damned fool announces his presence this close to Raider territory? Raider territory? You'll see for yourself soon enough. The slavers and their prey eventually reach a river, close to a location that Little Pip's Pip Buck labels as Ponyville. Uh, are those decapitated heads? Yeah, I told you. Raiders. <laughs> Alright. KG, stay here with the slaves. Sawed off. Let's go here with the toll is this time. I'm warning you. One wrong move. Okay, here's my chance. What the hell do you think you're doing? Trust me, I got this. Got it! Hey! Or not. What do you think you're up to? I'm warning you now, if I- Hey, if you're going to do something, do it now! Before the raiders find us! Right, I'm, I'm trying! Little Pip manages to free herself and is beginning to free Monterey when a chilling laugh breaks out. Two raider ponies approach, one with a shotgun, the other with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves some prizes! I'm checking my options, and I don't like a single one. Fuck. Um, help us? <laughs> oh, well, I'll help myself to you, alright. <laughs> what kind of crazed idiot are you? You don't reason with raiders and expect to be. How do you like that sledgehammer, buddy boy? Hold his legs out. I'm gonna shoot his hooves off. Yeah, not over my dead body, you sick. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be fun. Oh, it is on! You got any tricks up your sleeve, now's the time. Well, I definitely have one. I never thought I'd ever have to use sats. Oh, come on. Focus, focus. One hit to the knees, and another to the face! <laughs> Did you take her out? She's... unconscious. I see you brought Sawed-Off's shotgun with you. 
Oh yeah, that, and whatever else I could find off the body of the raider I just killed. You killed that raider? You're damn right I did. Is it really that hard to figure out? It was either me or her, and I'm not going to be the one to go down. Anyway, you didn't kill that raider, did you? How could I? She isn't a threat anymore. Why kill when there's no reason to? No reason to? No reason to? This is the wasteland. Put two and two together, and you've got problems. Problems that need to be eliminated. B but... Okay, you know what? Move over. Huh? You deaf. I said move over. Hey, well, what do you think you're... Like I said, this is the wasteland. Either kill or be killed. And I'll be taking what you've got, too. What? What do you think you're doing? I, I just saved you! You did, and that's why I'm not going to kill you. Not unless you do something stupid. But... But I just saved you! Oh, well, aren't you at the top of your class? Listen. Your saddlebags and canteens. What a dick! It is at that moment that Little Pip remembers the combat shotgun lying on the bridge. What the hell? The two ponies stand on the bridge, shotguns aimed at one another, as the moonlight filters through the clouds above. <laughs> oh, come on! You're not going to use that! I saw you spare that raider! If you couldn't kill a pony like that, there's no way in hell you have it in you to kill me. <laughs> I'm a quick study. Do, uh... Do you even know how to use that thing? The question is, do you know that you only have one shot left? And by judging by the sprite bot, that gun is in such poor repair, I'll survive being shot with it. Will you survive being shot with this as many times as I can pull the trigger while you try to reload? Got him. And I'll be taking my kids for this back. Why, you little... This isn't over. Oh, I think it is. Monterey swiftly turned around and left without another word. And with that, Little Pip swiftly ventures into the remains of what was once the homely town of Ponyville. into pony hell. There. Are you... for real? I'm... free? Don't worry. They aren't going to hurt you again. I... I don't know what to say! You don't have to say anything. You're free now. I... Say, uh... Do you think you could help me free the others? You know, just to speed things up before- oh, No! No, I can't stay here any longer! But here, take these supplies. I managed to screw these away. No. No, 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 you, you keep these. You're gonna need them out there. Some canned goods, a box of cake, and a hoop full of bottle caps amount to all her worldly possessions. <sighs> could the wasteland get any less fair? Could it suck anymore? Because I really don't think it could. But you saved me. If anything... Here, take this shell I found. It should fit in that shotgun of yours. I... Well... Thanks. I'll... I'll take it. No. Thank you. Well, that brings my ammo count to... 
too. Make it count, Pip. Make it count. Huh? Oh, shit! And a 357 men. Uh, it'll have to do for now, I guess. Damn. There's still some more caged ponies. I've got something to take care of. I'll be right back. I promise. Uh huh. Keep them in here. Oh boy, I'm gonna love tearing you apart. Not if I get you first. <laughs> I bet you taste real good, bitch. Really? Charging at me? You think you're funny, bitch? Ah! 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 Gotta... Gotta get out of here. Oh, where are you going? Did the little pony get shot? Oh, a kitchen? Fuck. Okay, think, think, look, let's look everywhere, see what we can find. Oven, refrigerator, knives, ammo boxes! Ooh, and a medical box! Yes, got it! Oh, a healing potion, thank the goddesses. Ah. Oh, that is so much better. Could, uh, could use a little sugar, though. Ugh. <laughs> Don't go in the kitchen, little pony. You're gonna get burned. Shit. Don't forget what you're here for. <laughs> Earth ponies. They never see that levitating something up behind you trick. Whoa. There's one left. I'll be right back. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, shit. Yep. That there's called an engine. It's for pulling the train. Although mostly we just use it for the whistle. Keeps varmints off the tracks. Huh? For pulling the train? I thought you bucks pulled the train. Uh, yep, we do. Then, well, cause the engine don't work without coal. Ain't got no coal. Ain't got no coal car even if we had it. So instead we use pony power. So the engine is to pull the train, but the engine can't pull the train. So you all have to pull the train and the engine? Uh, yep. <clears throat> okay. Then why don't you have any coal? Where's the coal? Oh, there ain't any coal in Equestria. All the coal's in a far, far away land. Then, how was the coal supposed to get here? By train, of course. <sighs> that was it. I needed to stop learning about trains. They hurt my brain. Just hold in there, Velvet. <laughs> Go ahead, throw your best spell. And here we were hoping that the great assassin who decided to assault our town would provide us with a challenge. We have been so utterly bored. 
for all the trouble you have caused us, and worse, for wasting our time with your patheticness. First we will kill your friends, then have them chopped into a stick, which we will feed to you. No! We think we will feed them to the full and make you watch. How pathetic you are! You're right. I am small, weak, and pathetic. I am a sad excuse for a unicorn with no spells but the fool's cantrip of levitation. But I am very good at it. Enough of this! Give yourself to us! Join us in unity! and become more than this wretched thing you are now. What are you doing? Don't you get it? She's keeping you distracted. What? Uh, oh! Don't do that. Ah! I, I'm a certified stable tech pit buck technician. I'm sure I can help. No, you can't. My armor took a crippling hit. Everything is offline. The entire spell matrix has crashed. Can you... Without magical power, I cannot even move. I will die here. I am, truly, already dead. But I took them with me. And... If I am not mistaken, I saved the Stable Dweller. As a final act, it was a good one. Okay. Steel hooves, right? How did you... Oh, of course. I'm bringing a medic over. <laughs> Little Pip, put me down. Minefield. Okay, move me, then put me down. You don't need to bother. There is nothing to be done. I've had a good gallop. Nonsense. Now we just have to get you out of- No. I'm sorry? Even if the armor protected you from burns and slashes, you've suffered massive blunt trauma. The internal damage Do could- Do not remove my armor. Oh please, I just went through this with calamity. I can't treat you if I can't see you. If you remove my armor, I will die. Well, that seems like a design flaw. The armor is meant to keep me alive. Open the armor plate over my left flank. I don't even recognize some of these drugs. The armor has a doctor enchantment. If it was working, I would be fully healed already. It doesn't have a system for party- Little Pip! This was a pit buck. I could easily... Wait. Little Pip. No, I know how to fix him. I can restore power to the armor and reboot the spell matrix. The suit designer obviously incorporated stable tech arcane technology. It's really not that different from fixing a pit buck. Well then, don't just stand there. Oh. I... I can't. But you just said... I don't have the right tools. A spell matrix master key? <laughs> you might be able to find one in Stable 29. Remember, Little Pip, this isn't your stable. I know. I've changed my mind. I cannot allow you to go into a stable for me. Oh? Well then, come right over here and stop us. Oh, wait, you can't. Your bedside manner is fucking horrible. Well, we will try anyway. If that is the case, I won't tell you where the entrance is. Pony hole cover marked Stable 29, near the Fetlock passenger wagon stop? And Velvet Remedy thought there was nothing interesting under the passenger wagon.
Well, I hope your levitation is back to its full impressiveness, Lil Pip. Unless we found a flux regulator and no ponies told me, moving that thing will be up to you. Come on. <clears throat> Yay! Sleep now. How long was I out? Long enough to get some much needed sleep. <laughs>